Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about another TriHackMe machine. It's called Takeover. So what we're gonna be doing in here is subdomain enumeration, okay? So before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, and share, and do all that stuff. If you're new to, if you're new to the channel, you know, welcome. If you're returning, awesome, let's have some fun. So what we have here is Takeover. So if you wanna learn about what a domain is, what is subdomains, this is an awesome little room. I was taking a look at it, I was starting to do it, and then I figured, let me just throw on the camera and just do a little walkthrough on this machine. So I pretty much took some back steps and we're gonna do this together. So we have here our IP address and we have you know a little note here. So our website resides at this domain, uh, futureera.thm. So this is my IP address to the, to the site. So what we have to do first is add this IP address to our Etsy, our, our Etsy host file in order for us to resolve the domain name, okay? So let's just go here, let's copy this. Let's go into Linux and then I'll see if I had it. I don't have it set up here. So if we do a little nano. If we come down, we can get the IP address. Whoops, I don't wanna do that, sorry. Let's go ahead and paste that and then tab. And then we're gonna put this in here. Okay, just so we can get to the to the site. Okay. But I didn't didn't copy. Sorry about that. Try this again. Copy. Paste. There we go. All right, so let's do a control X. Yes. Y, blah blah blah. All right. So now if we cat it, we should see it here. Boom. Good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is try to get to the site, right? So for an example, what is a subdomain? What is a domain? Before we even get to that. So for an example, if you're going to tryhackney.com, that's their domain, right? So if we have, for an example, training.tryhackney.com, academy.tryhackney.com, that is a subdomain, okay? So just a little, just a little insight. So now let's go ahead and try to get to the site. Come on, you can do it. Okay, obviously we can hit the site now. It resolves the DNS name. So, so now we have this uh, domain. So remember, we have to know what, what is our subdomains, okay? So we can use a tool called Gold, uh, Goldbuster, Gobuster to do what's called um, subdomain enumeration. You can do a lot of other stuff, but let, Let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, let's click in here and just put Go Buster on top, just so I, I know it's Go Buster. So if we just go to Go Buster and hit Enter, so what is Go Buster, right? So you can do a whole bunch of things here, and we can enumerate <clears throat> subdomains, use DNS, we can use vhost, we can do directory, uses directories of files to enumerate mode, uses vhost enumerate mode. You can probably Blah blah blah. So this is what we're going to utilize in our in our case. So I have a uh, a whole bunch of lists that we can utilize from Seclist. So if I just do locate Seclist, whoops, locate Seclist, you can download it right from the internet if it's not on your machine already. And I can see where my you know where my Seclist reside. User share Seclist. Okay. So I want to go ahead and just do it. Now I want to go ahead and run GoBuster, right? So let's go GoBuster. And then I want to run v, v host, v host. And then my v host, I want to do word list. What is it? User, share, sec list, sec list. And then it's going to be in discovery, uh, DNS. And if you don't know, you can just hit tab, tab, and it'll show you different, different options. So I want to do, I want to do uh, top 1 million, 5,000, okay? And then I want to do the URL. 
So my URL, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna copy just so I don't make any mistakes as far as spelling, all right? So now I could put that, and then I wanna put an actual thresh of 50, for example. And then I wanna append a domain, append, if I can spell, domain, okay? So let that cook and let that do its thing. And once this is done, it's gonna give us some feedback and some results. With those results, we can take that result and go look for our domains. So we have a whole bunch of crazy errors. I'm not sure what these errors are about. So if we come back up, let's see if we get any results. I'm not sure what this, uh, what this is all about. We'll give it a second. And maybe we can try to do this the uh, pen deadline. All right, let's try this again. Let's see. Go Buster. Let's see if we. Okay, that's that's a little better. I'm not sure what happened. That's the world of computers, right? So we found a portal dot. So now we can just take this portal, copy this, and now we can go. Let's for example, let's go in here and just put. Um, I want to put host file, so so we know. So and I want to do cat Etsy hosts. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is add that. So let's just do up arrow, and I want to put nano. So now let's tab. Whoops. What's going on? Man, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and paste that. So now we can get to this uh, this host, right? So let's do control X, yes, boom. So I'll leave that cook in there. So now what I'll try to do is go to portal. Let's go to portal, right? Let's do HTTPS. All right, so uh, looks like it's the same thing. <clears throat> so it doesn't look any any different. So what what we can do is we can look at the actual connection, more information, and then we can look at the the certificate. So anytime you're doing some enumeration of subdomains, you can look at the certificate and see if there's any wonkiness with it. So we can see here futurevera dot me. So we can see it's Oregon. Blah blah blah. Keep going down so you can see the public key information, miscellaneous, etc. There's nothing really too too sexy there, right? So let's go ahead and go back, right? So, because I said I was doing this box, just I was just doing it, and then I figured I'd throw on the camera. So if we come back here, this is the thing about the CTFs and these kind of rabbit holes of these boxes. And I, you know, I can do this machine in probably five or 10 minutes, but obviously I like to explain what I'm doing during the process so you guys can learn as much as I'm learning, right? So something that really sticks out here is we believe that the future space, blah, blah, blah. We have a lot, um, we do a lot of space research and write blogs, right? So that if they're writing blogs about their research, they may have a subdomain called blogs dot whatever, right? And we use a student civil blah, blah, blah and, then we, and then we build, but we are building our support. So maybe they have something that is support related. So maybe there's a support and a blog. So with that being said, what I wanna do, since our enumeration only sh showed us portal, I wanna go ahead and just add that into our our host file. So let's go ahead and do nano. And I want to, I have it copied over here. So just so I have, I don't have to type all that out. So what I want to do is copy this. And let's go. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. So once we are here, we can go ahead and paste those other two in. So we pasted support and blog, okay? So let's give that a save, yes. Okay, so now let's try to go to support. 
Whoops. All right. Let's just try to go to blog really quick. All right. HTTPS. All right. So we have a little blog here. So let's see. There's a must blah, blah, blah. All right. Nothing really too crazy. Let's go ahead and try to go to support. Let's always look at the information of the certificate and see if there's anything in here that's cooking. Mm, nothing really, nothing too, too promising. Nothing really sticks out, um, just your normal certificate. So now let's go ahead and go to support, right? So what I wanna do is HTTP, what, what? Okay, did I mess that up? Yep, I did. Let's do this, copy. I just put too many T's. So let's take out some of these T's. Okay, so we're supported. Okay, so this is live. We can get to the site. And yeah, let's see if there's anything uh, sexy with their certificate. Let's look at more information, view the certificate, and let's see. Okay, support, uh, da, da, da. all right, whoa, that, that's, that's not normal. So we have a DNS name of secret, secret help desk, right? The secret help desk. So let's go ahead and just copy this. Man, there's a lot of subdomains. So copy this. I guess this is why you have to learn about subdomains. So now we can go back here. Let's go back, let's exit out here. Let's go ahead and nano and let's add this one in, okay? And copy that, paste it, and then exit out, yes. All right, so now let's just cat it real quick, make sure they're all there, and it you know, looks like it's all good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just paste that here, and let's do HTTPS really quick. All right, so it doesn't really look any different. Let's look at the certs. <clears throat> Nothing really promising. So how about, since this was like a secret, maybe it's support. So maybe sometimes these, these boxes, or if I'm in development, maybe I'm, I don't need to go buy a certificate. Maybe I'll just like, okay, it's in-house. I'll just use HTTP and that's it, right? So let's just go ahead and just remove the S from here, just for giggles. Page can't be displayed, but if you look up here, it has a blizzag. All right, so it looks like we got it. Let's copy this. Let's come back here. So it looks like the flag is, obviously we can take out all this, and take out the HTTP and submit. And voila, we completed this machine. So that was pretty cool. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. This was a really good exercise. It shows you like if you're doing a real engagement, you're doing subdomain enumeration, these are things to look for, right? It's not gonna always just pop out at you. And that's why like, you know, doing these, these exercises will, you know, make you better at your job and it'll burn it into your brain, you know, to have these, you know, things to look out for. So hopefully it's been informative for you folks. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it if you liked it. And uh, thank you. Appreciate